This is an update video to making coils. So my source wire came from a transformer. This is the kind of thing you would find in uh, inverters, UPS, uh, computer backup systems, that kind of thing. Anyway, I take the wire and then I wind it on spare spool that I a pulley that I had kicking around uh, these things so this is my my first approach I used a piece from your umbrella that your uh, your patio umbrella that I broke in half and then I took a piece of wood put it inside this was longer and here's the the cranking handle that came with it but gone in there and then I put I made a piece here that I cut out of a hockey puck and it was similar to the shape of the magnet. I mean, this, this is the coil I made. I didn't put any uh, crazy glue on it or epoxy, but this is what I ended up with. I wasn't, I mean, it was okay, but it wasn't super tight inside there, but that's, this was the first try. So this didn't really work too well, but you know, back to the drawing board. I took a longer lag bolt than this and put it through a piece of wood a little disc wound it on and then I took these are platters from a hard drive they're nice and smooth and I put it on like that and then I took my uh, this is what I used for my second time put used wood and then screwed it on now the leg would have been longer sticking out and then I did it, another computer hard drive put it on like this and a piece of wood or something and secured it on and then that's how I did my second time when I did it now it made a good tight coil uh, I was happy about that I cut these little grooves on here so when I took it all apart and it was sitting on here like this take a uh, twist tie and just shimmy that underneath the coil and loop it around and tighten it up but I couldn't get it off the mold so that was a bit of a fail for this particular project it's not a, not a good one so I took a piece of cedar cut a bunch of discs in it with a uh, two inch hole saw on my drill press so this piece here would be locked into your vise this piece of wood these were just these were like acting as like spacers and, um, and also they had a good grip on the lag let's see this there's a lag bolt through the middle the wire in and wound it um, I every couple of I think every 10 turns I took some epoxy and now this is just a little tiny epoxy that I picked up from like the dollar store you're looking at you know a dollar 48 that kind of thing and I squirted some of this into a into a bowl, a screw, and this handy got it and dabbed it on the wire every couple of ways. So that worked out good. And I came up with a pretty decent coil. I think I'm getting better at it. Uh, it's a, a much tighter coil with the epoxy in there. I'm happy about that. The only negative is I don't like the space inside. I think it's, you know, for the magnet, I think it's way too big. Uh, um, also, the other thing with the mold here, I made, didn't make a little notch in it to uh, to shimmy the wire in. I have to make 12 of these, and I think I'll probably go crazy at the end. Maybe that's normal. Maybe you're supposed to go crazy. So what I did is I used a 2-inch hole saw, found a piece of uh, cherry hardwood flooring left over from a uh, home rental, cut two holes in it. I took my magnet and I measured out about how much space it takes up. Now I know the magnets are going to be going like north and then they're going to be going south and north and south all the way around my, uh, my, my blade that I'm using unlike the template I made earlier which was incorrect. So then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to drill a hole here, drill a hole here, make it go through my two pieces, and then I'm going to put in a screw or in here and here, and that's what I'm going to wrap my wire around. To ensure that uh, my coils weren't too thick, because I, I want narrow, like 
thickness coils, like this thickness. For my spacing, I took a piece of copper pipe, half inch copper pipe, cut it in half to get my spacing. There we go. There's the finished product. Got 86 turns. I'm happy with this. I think this is the this is the winner that we're going to be going with. So there's the magnet, size ratio, and the spacing and everything. So next video, hopefully I'll have. 12 of these coils finished. I'll get the rest of my magnets and then uh, I'll start assembling my uh, my rotors and my plates and stuff. Thanks for watching.